What's up, YouTube? Uh, today we'll be creating this lovely uh, text animation on Blender. It's more like it's the metallic barcode animation. There we go. We're gonna make it a little bit better too. So let's get started right into the video. We're gonna be using Blender 2.9. Okay, so we're gonna click one to go to the front view, X, and then we're gonna click delete because we're just gonna get rid of that cube because we're not gonna be using it. Now we're gonna click add, go down to text. Now we need that text to stand up, so we're gonna click R, then text, then 90 to rotate the text on the x-axis 90 degrees. Now see that's how it's gonna stay. Now we're gonna move that to the middle pretty much, and then we're gonna move this text. We're gonna move this text to the middle. Now we're gonna click tab, clear that out, and you can enter enter whatever you'd like to enter. I'm gonna be using Ashley. There we go. We're gonna leave that to the middle. Now we're gonna come over here and then we're gonna click on geometry. And then now we're gonna be extruding our text. We're gonna extrude our text to 0 0.06. And as you can see, it's a little bit thicker. Well 0 0.07 actually. It should be a little better. Alrighty. Yeah, now we're gonna make our offset to point uh there we go. Yeah, point zero one and then bring up our resolution to six. There we go. Alright. So we're gonna click one to go back to front view. And now that we have that, we're gonna click object, go down to convert, and we're gonna convert it to mesh from curve metasurf text. There we go. And let's see. We're going to add a mesh. It's going to be a plane. See, it fits right under there. We're going to scale on the x axis just enough so we can have enough space. There we go. Yeah, perfect. All right, now we're going to go back to the front part. Now we're going to click add mesh. We're going to add a torus. Now we're going to click RX90. That makes us rotate it on the x-axis 90 degrees and now that we're here we're going to scale it because it's way too big so you're going to click s and we're going to just going to type 0 0.06 so we scale it down in size and now we're not going to move our cursor we're just going to click add mesh and then we're going to click cylinder and we're going to do the same thing we're going to click s 0 0.06 and as you can see it brought it all the way down to a smaller size. Now we're gonna click we're gonna make it so it fits right in the middle. Alright. So we're gonna click S X point two. But as you can see it's still all the way over there. Now we're gonna click S then Y then point two. Now you see that it fits perfectly in the middle. Click one to go back to front view. We're going to click Shift D to duplicate it, then click Enter. Yeah. Now we're going to click R to rotate, and Y is we're going to rotate it on the Y axis, then 90 degrees. There we go. So it just pretty much spins it on the Y axis. Make sure you're holding the Shift, and then you're going to click all, make sure all three items are selected. Then click Object, and we're going to join all of those together. So now it's one object. So if I move this, everything moves. Now let me bring it to the middle right here. And then if you're already if you're already at the front view, that's good. If you're not, just click one to go back to the front view. And then we're gonna click this red right here. And we're gonna move this over here. Now we're going to click S, then Y to scale it on the Y axis. We're going to make it a little bigger. There we go. That should be perfect. Zoom in. Make sure there's just a little part showing over here. Yeah, that's that's perfect because as long as there's a little showing over there. Now we're going to click one to go back over here. Perfect. Now, 
now click on our text clip modifier right here we're going to add modifier and we're going to add a dynamic paint now when we add that we're going to come down here to the physics panel and we're going to leave canvas and we're going to add a canvas we're going to change the end frame to 1 120 120 because that's about all we're going to be needing change the surface type to waves and now this is what controls the waves right here. So we're going to change the time scale to 0.88. The speed is going to be 0.96, I think. Now, the dampen is 0 0.08. Looks better. Alrighty. Then we could click on the actual that we, item that we have going through. We could click object, we could click uh, convert, convert it also to a mesh from curve and everything. And then we're going to click dynamic paint. Now we're going to change this to brush and add brush and that's going to be it for there. Now if we go back and we go into wireframe mode, you can see that the text actually really doesn't have anything there's a lot here not not much anywhere else so we're going to click on our text add a modifier we're going to add a remesh remesh modifier now we're going to leave it on sharp and we're going to click we're going to uncheck remove disconnected pieces bring it up to eight it should be perfect yes eight is perfect for this one right here Alrighty, and then we're going to yeah, that's perfect right there. Then we're just going to leave it as that. We're going to go back to object mode. That's all we're going to need. We're not going to need this anymore. Now we could just oh yeah, we could we got to click right here the little drop down bar. Then we got to click apply. So we make sure that the remesh is actually applied to the surface. And then we're going to add another modifier, subdivision surface, and then we're going to move the level viewport up to two. And yeah, that's going to be that for now. And we go back to our text. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to leave this right here. And we're going to click I to insert keyframe, location, rotation. We're going to move. We could, we could just click right here and click, let's see, 60. 60. And then we're going to move our, our item right back over here to where it is. And then, let's see, R, Y, then 180 degrees. And then we're going to click I, and then location, rotation. There we go. So now if we go all the way back and we click play, you can see the spear actually moving through the text. And you notice that it's giving this little waves type thing going through the text. Okay. And then now that we're here, we can just click one to go back to the front view like we had it before. I'm just gonna place this in the middle so actually rotate from that part. Okay, now we have our world view. Actually, first we're gonna go up to right here, we're gonna change the render properties, we're gonna change the render engine to workbench. Then we're gonna put it on matcap. Matcap. Now we're just gonna click this little circle right here, and we're gonna make it the studio light. The ones going across. To see what this actually looks like, you click the viewpoint shade and right up here. Click this one right here, and there you go. There you go. 
Yes. Now, from here, pretty much, if you click play, you see it rotating, and when it goes through, it gives you this kind of, let's see, we're going to pause it. And if you take a closer look, you can see it's like a really cool animation going on here. All right. So what we're going to do, you can click click zero, and that's going to set up your camera view. Oh, click the select bar. And we're going to select where the, the camera is. Then we're going to go over here, click this little part right there. There's going to be an arrow. Go down to view, and then we're going to click camera to view. Now that's going to lock so we can move and do whatever we want without the camera being moved. So even if we move it to the side, it's just going to keep the camera at the same angle. Now we could click click on the the floor. We could scale it. Let's see. We could scale down the y axis if you need it to be a little, little more than how it is. You can move it over here. Let's see, right there. Or, yeah. Right here looks pretty good actually we're gonna scale it on the y-axis just a little bit more and we're gonna click here we're just gonna move it use a green one to move it back a little bit and then yeah perfect let's see what we got going on so far see there we go actually do it there. Okay. There you go. Then it's going to fill everything up by the time it's finished. Okay. So now to get out of it, we could just uncheck camera to view. And if we click one, we go back to the front view without all of that coming on. So that's just one thing. That's just one view we could actually have. If we change this right here to red, see, it's going to change to like some, yeah. We have that, yeah. So from here, it's whatever. It's whatever you want. You could you could go very far from here. You could make it whatever you want, or you could, if you wanted, you could change to cycles or EV, and you'll have way more options. See studio. There's there's a lot a lot of things you could actually do with this. But I'm for now we're just gonna use the matcap, and we're gonna stick with this animation for now okay so the way i wanted mine to set up i want to start from over here because this is where the animation is actually going to start so let's see back to zero i could have it start from over here and then i could have it slowly move to this side so you can see or Actually, I'm just going to leave it like this, just to show you. Okay. So now, now what we can do, we just got to set up the camera view and then we're pretty much done. Okay, so zero, that's how the camera is right now. We're going to click camera to view, lock that. Then it's just going to move it over here so they can't really see the plane. And we're gonna leave it like that, so you could see the words, but you could you'll also be able to see everything coming to this side. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it so it starts right here. Starts right here, so you could see everything. I'm gonna click I for location rotation, or I'm gonna make it start right here. Then I'm going to click, yeah, I, make sure where the camera is selected. Then you click I, then location, rotation. Now, I'm going to move, all right, let's say 35. Stop, just stop, 35. When we get to 35, we want the camera to be about here. So we're seeing that right there. We're going to click I, location, rotation. Then we're just going to scale this up on the x-axis some more, so 
we'll see what we have coming up. And then we're just gonna bring it over to where the animations finish. So 60. And then we're gonna click back on the camera. We're gonna bring it to here. So we could actually see everything else that's going on. Then we're gonna click I. Location rotation. So I'm gonna go back. When I click play, You can see the camera slowly moving to the location we set it to move to. Alrighty, so now that the camera is set, everything set, we're going to go over to Object Outputs, and then we're going to change it from PNG to AVI JPEG. The world settings, we're just going to change the color to... I had it blue, a little dark dark blue. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. There we go. Before we actually, before we go ahead and animate this right here, we want to click file and we want to click save. And then after we save it, or if it gives you an option to where you want to save it, make sure you just go ahead and click where you want to save it. So you just click on the object. We're gonna go down to back to the physics tab. And then we're going to click, we're going to just click bake. All right. Then after this is all uh, finished right here, we're just going to go ahead and then we're going to click, yes, we're just going to click render and render animation. And I'll get right back after everything's finished. Alright guys, here's our final animation. Uh, well, with this one, I had um, switched up some of the coordinates for the the actual camera. But if you want those, just let me know. Um, here we go. If you guys like this video, please drop a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and if you guys need any more text animations or anything else you guys would like to know just let me know and i'll get into it but thank you for watching you guys have a wonderful day stay safe deuces